Yeah. Look. Oh, he's big, Alex. His tail's way over there, and that's him. If you had a chance to make a positive difference, would you make it? I think he's better than this if he just killed that. Uh, I think he is. Yeah. It's right on black. I'm pretty sure he is. I've had this headache on my mind. Let's see this change. It's about time. Don't worry, I'm still fine. I'm not asking you for a dime. No one else shops videos like mine. I hope you find courage to subscribe. When people paint the picture that everything that slithers is a life or death matter, we end up with generations of youngsters. When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. That don't know how to respect creatures. We need better teachers. You told me about the circle of life. First fear that turns into hatred. When parents share fear, that continues for generations. Here's my proof, just look around this place. Some people are like deadly afraid of snakes. The most common fear is of snakes. One in 35,000 people will get bit by a venomous snake. The chances of dying are one in 50 million a year. That's equivalent to the population of Florida, Georgia, Alabama, North and South Carolina put together. So you get bit, kill the snake to reduce some risk. Hop in the car, go to the hospital real quick. They administer antivenom. You get better, the snake doesn't. People painted the picture, feeling everything that slithers is a life or death matter. Congratulations, we have another human winner. Snakes left dead to wither, strung out on a fence tethered. This scene captured and put on the big screen, Exterminator. These movies play on your fears, something now I see clear. I'm showing you that I care. Dying from getting bit, you're four times more likely that the lottery numbers you picked hit. I was touched, seriously. Blackjack? School of rap. Let's do this! Shout out to Jack Black, I see your back. Red on black, friend of Jack. Red on yellow, kill a fellow. Pretty simple, but you must know this fact. This saying only applies to a few snakes with perpendicular lines of red, black, and yellow. Only one is venomous, the other isn't. Actually, it's quite important. The king snake. Harming it is like harming your own kind. King snakes eat other snakes, giving you peace of mind. Here's a piece of my mind. The enemies of your enemies are your allies. I'll stay real close with mine. Here in Florida, there are only five other venomous kinds. All of them have pits under their chin. That's what makes these snakes all kin. Pit vipers is the family they're in. Rattlesnakes, cotton mouse, and copperheads. I'm Alexander, the great outdoors. I have a lot of stuff in my head. I've been waking up in them sweats, knowing things we love are now dead, knowing things we need are so spread. I won't go out with regret. I put my heart, blood, sweat into this shit. I'm not doing this for a check. I'm doing this because it's right. Respect their life. I see no evil in a creature trying to survive in our system. Most snakes bite because they're the victim. They're not programmed assassins, but humans continue to assassinate them. Cotton mouse and copperheads are often mistaken. Cotton mouse are also known as moccasins. In the water is where they live, feeding on fish, frogs, and toads. Copperheads are more often found on land and have brilliant coloration. That leaves three venomous snakes left, all with obvious triangular heads, each with unique patterns on their back. And my main proof that these snakes are innocent. They shake their rattle to alert you of their presence. Hey stop, I don't want to be messed with. I'm telling you so you can hear. I'm right here, stand clear. When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life, and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support, it means a lot to me, the Florida Wildlife Guy.